Well, at last I have a fabulous guest on my show. I've been trying to get her on for a long time because she's actually been getting guests for me. Her, her actual name is DJ Brat. Brat. And she is one of the first, or the first woman DJ. Club DJ, yes. Club DJ. Absolutely. How did you get that going? Good Lord. I love music. I've always loved music. I used okay. to play around with music in the house, you know, with the old turntables. Yes. Um, and then I worked at Studio 54, the original one in New York. And The original I, in New York now, hello. Yeah, telling my age. And, uh, <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> you look young enough, don't worry about it. <laughs> Great, thank you. And uh, I, it sparked more of an interest. Uh, the DJs were very, well, everything was interesting at Studio 54. Yes, of course it was. So yeah. I wanted to play around on the tables, but I, yeah. I didn't really have anyone to teach me. So and, you had to teach yourself. Yeah, and I didn't really have the, the time there because both the DJs were going on. So if I was there before them, if I could touch the tables, that was awesome. Uh, about three years later, late, later 80s, I uh, learned from an ex-boyfriend. Well, he just had the whole setup, and so I started. So, ex-boyfriends sometimes do come in handy. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> so that's when I started DJing. DJing in New York, and then I came out here. And, and did all the men accept you? I mean, were you kind? Of, obviously, you were because you were doing it. It was. But was it tough? No, it wasn't. No, I. I that's because of your personality. Maybe. I, mean, I thank you. I think. It, I didn't think so much of it at the time. I just thought, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm doing DJing and that's it. Yeah, and the guys were, they'd come visit me. Like, oh, there's a female DJ. And, let's go and see her. Yeah, let's bring all the other DJs and then they just sit there and stare. Like, like what is she doing? What's she up to? What's going on? Right, it was, it was weird, but it wasn't a struggle or anything. I no. had residencies and jobs. Now, in, and in that time, doing DJing was totally different to doing G DJing now because I was up on one of your stages last Saturday yes. down at your DJ uh, event you had. That was fun. And I, Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I had a, Oh, <laughs> did I have fun there with all these DJs? I had yes. a ball. But I was watching what they were doing and I thought, well, that's not the same as they used to do. No, absolutely not. Well, we had turntables. Yeah, you all had turntables and you put the record on, you play it. Yeah, I mean, we scratched and did our little tricks but nothing like today because we didn't have the little buttons yeah no when i got went up there on saturday he's got this whole board yeah and he says i can't i can't pay attention and i said but yeah you've got to pay attention and he said okay and he did he stopped what he was doing which i probably did the worst thing was interrupting him it was but, funny. but it was funny because <laughs> he's trying to do his stuff i loved it, <laughs> I loved it. But yeah, it's, it's a lot simpler today than it was before. Oh, it's simpler? Oh, yeah, sure. Before you couldn't do half of the things you can do today by pressing a button, you kind of had to create it somehow. Yes. And you could practically do a mix or make a song on these buttons uh, live. Wow. Seriously, and before you couldn't do that. You'd have to do everything at home or prepare to do something amazing with turntables. And because you can't just play a song, you have to sort of have a lot of stuff going with it, right? Well, yeah, because you can't, you have to mix the songs in with each other, you have to change the BPMs, and you have to read the audience to see what they like, so... It, so there's a, a lot more going on. to it than yeah. actual meets the eye, because we've always said, you know, the DJs get paid an awful lot of money. Did you get paid in the time of getting a lot of money, or...? Back in the day. Back in the day? Better than today. Better? Wow. It should be reversed. <laughs> well, there are millions of DJs today because everybody is a DJ, everybody's a producer, so it's a struggle more today. There are a lot more DJs, yes, and there's a lot more creativeness. But before, it was like there were a handful of us out here. Yeah. So everyone had a residency. Yes. And so we all got paid money because they needed DJs. Today, yes. it's like a dime a dozen. Okay. So they, some DJs just don't. A lot get of paid women out now? Yes. A lot of women. So are you competing with the women? Probably mm, not. No, I consider them, because I was here back in the day, like my children. Yes. I know that seems odd. No, it doesn't seem yeah. odd at all, because you're like the originator of women coming out being a right. DJ. And they don't know me, because no. I stopped for a while. Yes. And I did a, a lot of, uh, I was raising like my, my kids. Yeah. And the hours were just too excruciating. Too different. To, yes, yeah, so I just did private events for a long time. Okay. But I came back and it, everything was so different. When I left, CDJs were coming in, so the turntables were going out, and yeah. CDs and all of that. When I came back, it was uh, 
the CDJs and controllers and all of this stuff, and I had to make a choice. I said, oh, this button thing seems simple. Let's try that. Let's <laughs> try seeing all the different... Yeah, this is interesting. So I have a controller, and just this year, believe it or not, I started playing on CDJs. I'm like, you've been a DJ for how long? And yeah, I, Because back in the day, I said, I'm never touching anything with turntables because it was so... It was authentic. that was it. It was authentic, yes. exactly. Yes. But no, it's it's great. We have options. So are you now coming? You're coming back into it again. For and, the uh, past two years, I've been back out in public. Yes, back out yeah. in public. Yeah. And how's it going for you? Is it going good? Because you were like one of the originals. Right. So I would imagine a lot of people have great respect for you. Well, especially a lot of the, women. The, of the older people. Do. Yeah, the old. Yeah. The younger ones are like, who? Who are you? Uh, yeah, well, they don't. You know, <laughs> The young ones don't know anything yeah, that's going on because they got this little sort of tablet thing in front right. of them 24 and, hours you know, a day. And they're learning now, but they're like, well, where's your pictures for proof? I'm like, you don't need, I don't need any of that. <laughs> yeah. But people know who I am. Right. So I'm meeting up with the older people now that have, they stayed in the business and yes. they're doing amazing things. So, and then even some of the younger ones, that, you know, you've interviewed. Oh, doing, yes. Yeah. And I love, I love interviewing them because they, they have such, such a lot to bring to the table into the music industry. Yes. And because the music industry seems to be changing every year. Yes. It always changes with the songs. I mean, it's always basically the same because it's music. Right. But it's how it's played and how it's done. So it's not always exactly of uh, what we used to do, though a lot of what we used to do comes back. Right. Like you're, you've come back. Right. And do you get a lot of work now in Vegas? Uh, well, I do also because I, I do events. So I have a, a DJ business. Yes. So I not only... You book I'm a, I DJs. I book DJs and myself. And, and I put on events, so I'm there spinning as well. But today is different. We used to have... Okay, so sometimes we'd have a guest DJ. Yes. And it would be us spinning for six or eight hours at a time. Yeah. Because that's how it was. Then there were still resident DJs today like that. But now it's popular in this culture to have a DJ on every hour. So you're not spinning for eight hours. For eight hours. Yeah. So you get a different DJ yeah. every hour. But that's great too because that gives all the DJs a time and a place to be able to do something, right. to perform. Yes. So it gives them that opportunity rather than one person doing it for eight hours. You've right. got eight DJs you can take care of. Right. And they all want exposure. So. And they, I was going to say, they, now do most of them get paid or do a lot of them do it just to get out there to be seen? Most of them do it to get out to be seen. I remember when I first came back out. Um, I saw the DJs taking their USBs because you don't have to have a system. Today you can just put it on a flash drive oh, really? and stick and plug it, in it in. The, yeah, and then you're good to go. I mean, I used to lug crates and all of that, and it was heavy. I had to have people do it for me, but today you just plug it in. And I'd watch them go in and out of um, a certain place. The recording and, or whatever, wherever yeah, they are. And they would just plug it in every half an hour to an hour, and they didn't ask. Uh, it was uh, like the new culture. It's just, we're just an gonna, automatic way of doing it. Yes, now. so we're just going to come up and... They were so excited, so that is it. It's it's um it's a lot. It's very different. Yes. I would go with maybe four or five, but but I, you know I happen to be one of those people. I love change. I know I'm older. I know what I am. I know everything about me because I live with me all my 24 hours a day. Right. Sometimes I get fed up with me too, <laughs> but I have to put up with it. But I love change. I I, I love the young. I've got the back of the younger generation. I love the the younger generation, but I also like people like you and I that have also know what went on before right. and what's gone on now, but we accept what's going on now. Yeah, and you I have to accept change. You've got to accept change, haven't you? you, you yeah, know. I mean, even if you, I don't always like all of it. I think no. there are some things that should be changed, but I'm going to do that. Yeah. But I would okay. like to keep a lot of it because... Yeah, so bring your old, they're all, so yeah. a lot of people yeah. like that anyway. Yeah. So you're getting plenty of bookings. Now, Saturday I was at one of your events and there was a lot of DJs there and I had so much fun down there. Yeah. What was that event for exactly with all the DJs and a lot of people started coming in? And I do first uh, Saturdays at Juicy Beats and I line up a certain amount of DJs and then this one... I do second Saturdays at Artisan. This one was Donald Glove, so he's a headliner. Yes. Yeah, and um, he remixes and produces music, so it was a big thing. And he wanted, to, they wanted to do a takeover. Like I had he spoke with a duo that was there. You may have seen them. Um, yeah, they were kind of crazy. I think I did. Yes. Double shot. Yes, yes, yes. And when we spoke about them coming to the event, they wanted, decided they wanted to do a whole Donald Cloud takeover. So they asked, and I said, "Oh, that'd be great." Yeah. So there were five of them, well, six because of the double yeah. that came in from uh, Washington, and then I had my guys from out here do the main room. 
So there were, I think, about 14, 16 DJs. DJs there. And it was amazing because I was down there and it was just fabulous. It yeah, was just, so. you know, what was going on. So the events you put mostly put on are, are DJ events. Yes. Yeah, that's what you're, you specialize in. Yeah. Okay, how can anybody get hold of you um, to book you and your group and your um, event? DJ Bratz, uh, Vibrations, Heal Entertainment. Wait, DJ Bratz, Vibrations, Heal Entertainment. Dot club and I'm um, on Facebook. I have a DJ Brat DJ page. Brat page. Um, DJ, if they go to DJ Brat, they're going to find out all your information. Yes, because I have several that. pages on there. I also have DJ Brat's Playground, so See, that, that people can take. That was exciting. Yeah, people just mix. It's a playground. What well, was, was for me originally? I was just going to do live mixes on there, and I thought. Why doesn't everybody post their live mixes on yeah, here? Yeah, absolutely. Because this way we see So everybody. you are a person that actually gives an opportunity to the DJ industry out there. You're giving them an yeah. open office. She gives them an open platform like I do, but she gives them for the DJ. She lets them or whoever they want to be or whoever they are. They'll find their place and out there. And artists also, like singing artists. All the artists, singing artists yeah. as well. So, but they'll find their place out there. But you give them that opportunity to actually start. Yes. And where, where, however far they go, it's up to them. You can let me take them so far. Somebody thanked me for that the other day. Thank you for having these platforms and groups for us to post. They are platforms, yes. I have, yeah, uh, DJ Bratz International Event Share as well. I have a lot of it, just so... So you're expanding and expanding and expanding on... Isn't that wonderful? She got a lot when she was young. She's now giving back a lot. That's absolutely what I want. amazing. That's important. And that's what you're, you're doing. You're giving back because she she was very fortunate and very very fortunate as a woman, as a young girl, getting out there and getting into the mix of the guys because everything is the guys, as right. I just it's said. Still male dominated. Most, most yes, and I was just saying most films you'll have one woman as the star and you'll have ten men. Yes. Hello, but it doesn't kind of change. So us ladies have to change it. <laughs> exactly. Somebody so. asked me, why do you always help the DJs? And I thought, I said, I already had what I wanted back in the day. Yes. I was a DJ. You I had residencies. I, I was the first female. I said, and now I just want to produce music because I'm doing that also. Yes. I, I do remixes and stuff. And do festivals, guest spots, and help whoever I can help. Come up. Isn't that wonderful? And that she's going to get every single thing of that back because she's helping other people. Thank you so much. Isn't Thank she you. amazing? DJ Pratt, absolutely admire her. She, she keeps sending DJs to us anyway, don't she? you? Yes. Keep, so, and she sends them to us so we can give them a break so people know who they are. So don't forget Vegas Live with Ninon. Go to our Facebook, go to Instagram, go to YouTube, go to all of them. And don't forget, and this is my producer, and I always say that he says, Ninon, tell everybody to subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe to Vegas Live with Nina. Don't forget the Peppermill, Peppermill Lounge here, down here on Vegas Boulevard. Amazing. Also, What's share that? Vegas Live with Nina. Share with your friends. Oh, I love that. See, yeah. share it. See, she's on my side. Us women have to stick together. And, That's you know, right. And the trouble is a lot of women don't. No, they're very competitive. They, they're, women are very competitive. Or they're very jealous or they get all this crazy thing. Men aren't like that. No. Men don't get like that. They don't. That's silly stuff to them. Right. So don't 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 get jealous of anything we can do because we we help. Have to bring each other up. Bring each other. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you again. We'll be right back. Vegas live with Nina.